This is the dress. It has a nice fruity floral pattern which is well printed throughout and consistent throughout the entire dress. The stitching is perfect as you can see here on the neckline and then we'll go all the way down and look at the hem. You can see there the finishing is excellent and is very nice and neat with perfect stitching. It's made from a medium weight cotton fabric but it also has just a slight stretch in it as well so that little bit of give makes it very comfortable when you're wearing it and I can also say that it isn't see-through either so you can wear coloured underwear underneath and nobody will see. There's a belt with belt loops but what I will say about the belt is it's not quite consistent with the quality of the dress itself. This is made from a black polyester fabric literally just hemmed at each side and then you can either tie it at the side, the front or the back. Personally I think it cheapens the dress slightly so I think it's better to look at the dress without the belt which then doesn't lose its shape in any way and in my view actually possibly looks better. An observation I have here is that although the dress is good quality it would probably be better if it didn't have this swing tag card. It reads, the product through make, dress, science and technology lately, processing and more excellent and popular cloth of quality of adoption anticipate, which really doesn't mean a great deal in English. So it's probably better to discard this label, particularly if you're giving the dress away as a gift. So again, look at it without the label and without the belt and now it is a really good quality garment. So let's have a look and see what it looks like on. And this is what the dress looks like on. To put the sizing into perspective, I'm about five foot nine tall and the dress comes down to my knee, just in the middle of my knee, which I hope you can see. Regarding sizing, I'm roughly 34, 28, 35. So a UK size 12 and this is a size 10 dress. To look at the fit, this is size 10 and there's quite a bit of space in there. Here on the waist, again, ample room there without it looking baggy and without it looking silly. So it's certainly not a skimpy fit and the sizing is quite generous, particularly as it's a Chinese dress. So I would say order your usual size or even a size smaller. You'd be surprised how large the dresses are. It also has this belt. I've got mixed feelings about the belt because the dress is made from cotton and this is made from a relatively cheap looking polyester. It's just stitched at each side and the idea is you fasten it in a bow at the front or the side or you can have the bow on the back like a children's party dress or wear it without the belt altogether. Personally I think red or green would have been a better colour for the belt so use your own judgement but you can always use a belt of your own anyway. The fabric is a medium weight cotton. It's quite thick. It has a little bit of stretch in it which gives it a little bit of give and makes the dress comfortable to wear. Also, although it's a white dress, you can wear coloured underwear underneath it and it doesn't show through, hopefully anyway. It's also quite a nice medium weight floaty dress. It feels light to wear, it feels nice and swirly and in cool weather it's nice and cool. The top is designed to be fairly close fitting, whereas the skirt is nice and loose, almost circular and it's got a nice swirl to it. You could enhance the swirl by wearing a slip beneath it, then it will cling less to the legs and look like more of a full skirt. Looking at the back, there's a hidden zip which runs from there to there, which is 17 inches. It's smooth running and it makes the dress very easy to slip into and slip out of. So it's very easy to put on and take it off. So that's the dress. It's a very nice dress, it's exceeded my expectations, it's well printed, it's well stitched, it's well finished and for the price I think it offers exceptional value for money and I would very highly recommend it.